All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for a few real people just like you and just like me as we continue to document the end of classic rock. Um, another band is calling it a career, uh, says their band has come to a conclusion. Uh, before I get there, here are the Crows. I've been uh, promoting the Crows and hopefully people are enjoying listening to this band uh ready when you are is the name of this it came out earlier this year and um if you like classic rock from the 70s or the 80s i think the crows will fit the bill um no pun intended there bill you know like more like ducks than than crows have bills right crows don't have bills they have beaks so anyway um sad news in in the world of music is Phil Mogg. Who knows who Phil Mogg is? Raise your hand. <laughs> like two of you, right? Uh, Phil Mogg says that UFO is over. It's come to a conclusion. He just did an interview, and uh, I guess they were remastering the classic album Lights Out, and Phil was asked if there is still more to do with the band. He responded, nope. No, I think it's come to a conclusion. We did that last UK tour in 2019, just before COVID. So we got in a tour before COVID. I think they tried to do a tour after COVID. What happened uh, next was that Mog suffered a heart attack in August of 2022. No, I'm not going to say why he may have suffered a heart attack. Uh, he's an older guy, right? So you got to just attribute it to age. There's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to see here. Uh, there's nobody uh, recently dropping dead at age 25 for no reason, right? So heart attacks, they happen to everybody. So he's now 76 years old. Uh, and at that time, uh, he was rushed to the hospital where he had two stents implanted into his coronary arteries. Uh, this is medically known as a coronary angioplasty. And it's supposed to reopen the blocked coronary artery by inserting one or more stents. This helps keep the narrowed artery open. So uh, that was Phil Mogg in 2022. So he probably at that point just said, you know what? I think we're all done. Uh, he's been in rehab. He's had therapy. According to doctors, uh, he said, it's not yet possible to give any concrete statements about the duration and scope of the treatment that he had back in 2022. Again, they were supposed to do a concert tour uh, between summer and uh, probably into the fall of 2022, but they decided to, of course, cancel because of what happened to Phil Mogg. But uh, again, another band uh, going by the wayside. The thing about UFO, right? Another band, you could, who didn't they influence, right? The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame always talks about influence. UFO was just, look, they weren't a commercial juggernaut, at least here in the United States. They flirted with rock radio, especially in the early 80s, late 70s, early 80s. If you had a UFO album, you were super cool. You were just incredibly cool. Um, and they had so many great songs that, again, they got onto rock stations, but not too much. Um, just a straightforward, hard rocking. I mean, if you liked heavy metal, you could like UFO and be cool. If you just liked classic rock, again, uh, you could like UFO. So they were a band for... Um, just smart people who liked great music. That's the way I always thought about UFO. And, you know, some of their imagery was a little uh, way out there, uh, but based on the time the music came out, uh, it kind of fit in with what everything else was at the time. Um, but just another great band that's uh, pretty much done. And, you know, what are you going to do? There's, there's at the end of this video, what are you going to do? Another band officially says we're done. Phil Mogg says we're all done. So we're done. There's no more UFO. A lot of people missed UFO the first time around. So what I would do is go back and, and listen 
to some of their music. Uh, they have a lot of stuff um, to choose from. And, uh, you know, as a general rule with UFO, going back further, I think, gets you to some of their best material. But uh, even later on, when they were still putting out albums and people were ignoring their stuff, at least here in the United States, they're still putting out great music that probably uh, deserved a better fate. Um, and do they deserve the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Absolutely. But there would be such a dark horse, out of nowhere selection. But this is how bad the Hall of Fame is. The fact that, again, if we had put all of the other bands in there, if we had put Steppenwolf in there and Blue Oyster Cult in there and the Guess Who in there and Bachman Turner Overdrive and America and all these bands uh, and different artists that should be in there. I mean, Dan Fogelberg isn't in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now, I know different artists, different genre, but there are some things you just shake your head and you go, of course he's in. And then you go look and you're like, yeah, he's not in the Hall of Fame. So it's going to be a cold day in hell um, before UFO gets uh, put in there. Um, but they deserve it. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Go back and listen to their stuff. It's just brilliant. All of it. The guitar work, the production value, um, the power and, and how unique it sounds too. It's not really like anybody else. That's another great thing about UFO. All right. So this channel is kind of like a UFO to the algorithm. <laughs> that's a bad, that's a bad segue. Um, but yeah, if you can help support this channel, because the algorithm apparently doesn't like me a whole lot. And the more you like the videos, the more you watch the videos, um, it helps the channel. Also, um, I still need your support because of all this. So again, Patreon, YouTube memberships, all the usual places. Also, buy me a coffee is a lot of fun. One-time gift. If you want to just buy Dave a coffee, you can do that. And that works out great. And uh, typically people send me nice messages along with their um, Starbucks latte. So I really appreciate that. Um, one more time with the Crows, just a great album ready when you are. Go check this out. If you like UFO, you might like the Crows, although nobody really sounds like UFO. So, <laughs> um, I mean, you'll get arguments like the Scorpions are a little like UFO, but mm, I don't know. The just all the music I've ever listened to by UFO always impressed me, and it was nothing like what everybody else was doing. So, yeah, too bad about a great band saying that we're done, but everybody's too old, and heart attacks aren't fun, and touring is even less fun when um, you know, you're at a certain age. And I can't blame these bands because a lot of people didn't even hear them the first time, which is really a tragedy. All right. On that fun and happy note, I will talk to you soon. God bless. And uh, yeah, take care.